We're here today to show you the end result of a four room deep drop ceiling restoration in a basement in Florida. In Florida our basements are actually our garages, we can't go below the ground. So these ceilings were, 14, were 13 foot high, sorry. And air conditioning is an issue in Florida, of course, it eats up a lot of electricity. So to make the rooms more comfortable, we put in a drop-in grid system of a standard 15th, 16th grid. And we're going to show you that. I said, in addition, we finished it in our new 3D drop-in panel. So we've lowered the ceilings down to 9 feet, which is going to require a lot less air conditioning. You'll notice, and we're going to show you how the outside grids are done uh, with deep drop by simply bending the outside flanges. Uh, it can also be finished with our regular drop-in filler or our fancy drop-in filler. And we're going to show you that now. We're also going to show you how we cut in recessed lights. This is pattern number 22 in brushed nickel, satin brushed nickel, a very popular color. The light color opens up the ceiling, makes it large. Uh, you'll notice that we're about to finish a couple of these. I'm going to show you if I can get up in this ladder, no ceiling ever ends on 24 inches, unfortunately for us. So the outside grids of, of a drop-in ceiling are always going to be irregular. They're going to be 3 inches, 6 inches, 10 inches, whatever was left over after they centered the middle line down the room. So you're always going to run into this with either the deep drop or the regular drop. And I'm going to get up in the ladder here to show you how on the outside panels with the deep drop, we simply excuse me, cut them in by bending out the outside flange, and it's only one one hundredth of an inch metal. We basically bent it to this shape. Uh, this is a standard 23, 23 inch opening, and this is about eight and a half inches. So there's our, our panel that we've, we've hand bent with crimpers, and we're going to show you that. And basically, in the end, it's going to drop right in, like I just had it. Bear with me one second while I... Basically, we put it back in here. The rough cut side is to the outside, and I doubt very much if anybody's going to come into your drop-in ceiling and look up there and see if it's not perfect, but the outside edge is perfect. Even small pieces like this one back here, which is only an 8x8 eight eight section, can be cut out of a whole 24-inch pattern. As long as this outside grid is no more than uh, 11 inches, you can basically get two of these outside panels out of each one of our 24-inch uh, pans. So ends up uh, cutting down on the cost. Uh, the design center could help in this type of layout. 